It's Jake here. I am getting ready for a shoot right now. The hair is all over the place, but I've taken a bit of a hiatus from vlogging the past couple weeks. I've been very busy. I haven't been able to do a lot of vlogs. Um, probably overexposed right now too. But I haven't been able to do a lot of vlogging because I've just been stuck editing and working a lot and I haven't had a chance to just really sit down and knock some stuff out. Today, there's no excuse. I got a video shoot with my boy King Syed and I'm gonna be vlogging the entire time. It's gonna be a great day. Try to clean this lens off a little bit, sorry. Try to make sure that I stay warm outside because in Chicago, it is, well, today's April 7th and I believe the high today is gonna be about 42 degrees, which is pretty cold for April, but what are you gonna do? I'm gonna finish getting ready so I can get to this shoot and we can get cracking. So hope you guys enjoy. So as I'm driving to my shoot, I had a quick thought that came to my mind. This is something that I think about a lot actually. So I think a lot of people are afraid to start vlogging because A, they feel like their vlogs are not gonna be watched because who cares about their life. B, they're scared to get in front of the camera just because they're nervous of what people will think about it. Those are two things that I thought about when I started vlogging and the way I got over it was I just kind of thought about where we are in terms of social media and at this point in time, my generation being part of the millennial generation is the first generation where nearly everything that has been done in the past two decades is has been documented electronically so what what i mean by that is that we're the first generation that our kids and their kids and 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 so on will have documentation of our lives and what we did and how we were and how we acted which is completely different like i don't i don't know my great grandparents and i don't know really what they were like the only thing i know about them is what my grandparents tell me and but you know, it's all hearsay. So the beautiful part and the way I look at vlogging and why vlogging can be so important for a lot of people is every time you do a vlog, you are documenting your life. So whether or not anyone's watching it right now, someday if you have this video posted down the road, some person from your extended family or someone who wants to get to know you will be able to watch these vlogs. Now that's assuming that the world doesn't crash and burn or you know something terrible happens but the way I look at it is you are documenting your life for your kids and their kids and you're 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 putting something out there that people will be able to watch and say wow that was my dad when he was 21 years old don't look at vlogs so objectively and say that you know it's not worth vlogging because someone right now isn't going to watch it here's the thing there are billions of people in this world. So maybe your best friend and all of your mutual friends and your hometown won't watch anything you do and they won't give a shit about you. However, there's probably people across the globe who might watch your video and say, wow, this kid's dope or this person, I really like this person. And then they become a fan of you and they start watching you. So stop looking at things so small, stop being so small minded. Just if you want to vlog and you've always wanted to try it, just get out there and do it, do whatever you can. I mean, it helps when you're in the camera, when you're in the camera world and you have a camera like me and you can kind of film yourself, but just get out there and do it. Stop caring about what the people around you say because the people around you have nothing Thing to do with how successful you can be on the internet the internet is way too big of a place to be just small-minded and thinking about the local area that you live in so that's my words of wisdom on my car ride at the shoot what up, what's up bro what up, brother? say what up to the vlog what up vlog? we got we got how the we got the homies here getting ready for the shoot it's nice and cold out nice and chilly where's the wife at you look crazy so Where's the wife at, man? Uh, wife is at home right now. How you he, doing, man? He pretty much just woke us up and. Oh yeah. I agreed to walk out. Well, that's that's yeah, awesome, man. You're you're a good friend, bro. 1:30 in the morning. He, he's my best friend, man. Yeah, he's always he's a, this this man right here. People need to take <laughs> notes from Mr. C J Dubzik. He's a great guy. Thank you. Good dude. Appreciate it. We're gonna put this in the vlog. Syed's so got the white jeans on today. What am I doing, G? I just unlocked my car and then locked it at the same time. Yeah, you're time. tweaking, bro. All right, all right. Hey, man, we've all I'm been I'm excited. There. Yeah, I'm excited. you should be, bro. This is going to be a banger. Got the red today. 
Japanese shit too, G. Oh, look at that. What are those? Where are those from? I don't even know, G. I don't know what these are, but I got it from a... Oh, there you go. 139. You. Damn. Compared to 75. No clearance on that shit, bro. I got the Hirachis on. 90 oh, bucks. Oh, shit. Nice and, nice and crispy, no, but comfortable at the same time. Bro, we price maxed these yesterday and they came out to like 60 because online they were doing like a crazy deal. Oh, damn. So you got... Wait, did you get... You got the deal though, right? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You didn't overpay. We don't overpay in 2018. Yeah, yeah. We're getting deals. What up, what up, what up? It's King Cheyenne behind the camera. Say what up, Dubzik. What up, CJ Dubzik? Say what up, Drake. We're gonna hit the links in the description for you guys so you guys can follow everybody. You already know. Yeah, this man just woke me up 10.30 in the morning. We do assist at my crib at 2, 2 a.m. So, you know, we're out here shooting a music video for all the right reasons. It's a beautiful day. It's could be, it could be a bit warmer, but hey. you know what? We're at least the sun's happen. out. We got some vitamin hey, D, though. You know what? That's facts. That's facts. Right facts. How cold is it? Dude, it's it's really like, it's worth it to, to be freezing my balls off knowing we're gonna shoot this music video and not fucking wear my big ass jacket and put on this light jacket so I can look cool. I don't feel cool right now. You heard it here first. How cold is it? Oh, it's freezing. I should have brought gloves. My hands are already getting red because I'm white and stuff. And, you know, that's what happens when, when you're white. But hey, you know white, what? And then he turns red. That's, there and you go. The there red. you go. It's Woo! that life. Spent too much time watching time pass. Where the time go? I don't got no time for your lightness. What do I do? Hey, right what up, what up? You on Dubsy just wants to go take a piss? Yep, that's how it is. You're grabbing lunch right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. I spent way too much money. What you get? Lunch right now, bro. I got two hot dogs, a chicken sandwich, and a drink. It cost me seventeen dollars. Damn, son! I'm, I'm spending racks. I today. thought I went hard. I just got the classic. Oh, what you get? What you got? Cheeseburger, a cheeseburger fries, fries, and, and a drink. drink. There you go, man. That's the American classic. Right there. Seen things, done shit. Look in your eyes, seem upset. No cry about it. We public. No fall in love, get love sick. I heard you screaming. I ignored every call. Yeah, too busy chasing different crowds. Applaud. 